Hi, folks. Welcome to the BEA Maglock non-UL and UL Maglocks Jumpers and Voltages webinar. Objective. Non-UL listed Maglocks, UL listed Maglocks, power supplies, wiring, jumper configurations, LED indications, troubleshooting, and accessories. Non-UL listed mag locks. This mag lock here, 10 mag lock 1 is the part number, 1,200 pounds. 10 mag lock 3, 600 pound rated mag lock. 10 mag lock 9 is a 100 pound, a small little mag lock for cabinets or drawers. And then 10 Maglock 5 is a dual, 1,200 pound. 10 Maglock 6, a dual, 600 pound Maglock. Non-UL Maglock pound rating and current draw. This chart, uh, for starters, this info is available on BEA Tech Bulletin number 43. Uh, these part numbers are from the previous slide. For example, 10 Maglock 1, the 1,200-pound Maglock, uh, configured by 12 or 24 volts DC, 24 being the default. You can use a non-UL rated power supply. The current draw at 12 volts DC is 0.52 amps, a half of an amp. And at 24 volts DC, it's 0.25 amps. So you can compare this to what you need, what your application is. Uh, for the type of lock and the power supply. Typically, uh, anything powered on 24 volts will be about one half of the current draw uh, when compared to powered on 12 volts. So it's important to understand that for your application. You have multiple mag locks. Powering non-UL listed mag locks. This is a BEA. 1024 VAC transformer, a class 2 transformer, 1022 VAC Granger, and then this is a UL listed Ultronics power supply, 10 PS1224, and then optionally the BR3 logic module, 10 BR3, can simply uh, rectify AC voltage to DC voltage. Non-UL listed mag locks can be powered by either a transformer and rectifier, BR3, or by UL listed and regulated power supply. All BA mag locks must be powered with 12 or 24 volts DC only. There is no such thing as an AC mag lock. Note, the two BEA transformers here and here shown are rated at 40 VA volt amps. So if you do the math, the equivalent current rating is about 1.6 amps. Maglock power. All BEA maglocks must be powered with 12 or 24 volts DC only. The UL and non-UL locks have jumpers that must be set accordingly for the power being used. By default, all maglocks are set to 24 volts DC. There are two different jumper configurations. The following slides show correct jumper settings. Note, if using dual mag locks, make certain to change the jumpers on both boards. Non-UL mag lock jumper settings. In this example, configured for 12 volts DC, we have two, two little programmable jumpers covering all four pins. For the 24 volt DC, the default setting, one jumper in the middle covering pins two and three if reading it left to right. And this would be for these four mag locks, the non-UL mag locks, 10 mag lock one, three, five, and six. This would be for, say, single 1200, single 600, dual 1200, dual 600 pound mag lock. UL mag lock jumper settings. Here we have two examples 
for four different types of mag locks. The 12 volt DC jumper setting, two jumpers right here. This would be for the 10 mag lock 1 UL and mag lock 5 UL. For the 10 mag lock 3 UL and mag lock 6 UL, the jumper settings here. We have two jumpers covering all four pins side by side this way. The default setting, 24 volt DC, the same lock, 10 mag lock 1, 10 mag lock 5 UL, one jumper. The other two pins are open. And then 10 mag lock 3 and 6 UL, one jumper over pins number 2 and 3. <coughs> UL listed mag locks. Here are some part numbers, pound ratings. 10 mag lock 1 UL, 10 mag lock 1 UL DS. I'll explain the DS in a minute. 1,200 pounds, and then the 600 pound rated mag locks here. And then we have the dual mag locks. We have the 1,200 pounds and 600 pounds. The DS versions have a built-in door status sensor. It simply will signal a remote device indicating that the door is closed. Not necessarily meaning the magnet is bonding. That would be the bond sensor. That's a separate output indicating the mag lock is bonded. Powering BEA UL listed mag locks. All BEA UL mag locks must be powered by a UL listed and regulated power supply such as BEA part number 10PS1224 shown here. Note, a transformer and rectifier or plug-in UL listed power supply will only turn on the red LED, red LED of the mag lock that is, it will not allow the mag lock to bond. This is our part number 10PS1224. Powering BEA mag locks continued. Prior to powering, set all the jumpers for the proper power being used. All BEA mag locks are set to 24 VDC by default. So if you're using 24 volts, you don't have to do anything with the jumpers. Apply the positive side of the DC power to terminal 1, marked plus, could be right here, and connect the negative sides of the DC power to terminal 2, marked minus, right down here, the red spot is. Turn on the power and you should see a red LED. When the mag lock bonds, the red LED should turn green. These mag locks also have a bond status relay that will change state when the bonding occurs. This can be useful to signal a security system or guard station as the status of the lock. And that would be done right here, simply a relay, a common, a normally open, and a normally closed. That's how you would accomplish the uh, bond status relay function. Releasing the mag locks. Any dry contact device can be used to interrupt the positive leg of the power to the mag lock, causing it to release. Breaking the negative will cause the mag lock to delay the release due to residual voltage, always, always, always break the positive leg to the mag lock. You always want to switch or break the positive leg to the mag lock, regardless if it's a UL mag lock or not. The UL listed mag locks have a delay potentiometer that will delay the rebonding after power is reapplied for up to 90 seconds to allow time to get to and through the door. In this example, the blue potentiometer is your delay potentiometer for up to 90 seconds. All other types of mag locks will require a timer module to delay the rebonding. Releasing the mag locks. In many cases, mag locks are installed on an automatic door, in which case a two relay sequencing module such as the BEA BR3 will need to be used to first release the lock and then second, activate the automatic door. UL mag lock wiring. In this 
In this example, we're showing how to wire a UL mag lock using the UL listed power supply 10 PS 1224. We have some logic applied with the BR3 as we're connecting it to an automatic door opener, automatic door control down here. Conversely, it's also being triggered by a wireless transmitter. We have a wireless transmitter here transmitting to the receiver. The receiver closes contact and triggers the input on the BR3. The BR3 will then, in this example, we have a maglock will release, switch, or break the positive wire of the maglock. Or if we're using an electric strike, we'll do the same. We'll make the positive wire for the strike to release the door. And then the second relay, the second output, will trigger the automatic door opener based on your sequence and your time option that you program. If installing on a manual door, disregard relay two connections and the door control. If installing on an automatic door, ensure compliance with applicable codes and standards. Non-UL maglock wiring. This is a little bit different. We're using the same wireless transmitter, the same receiver. The receiver's wired the same, triggering input one to start the sequence. But here we're using a 24 VAC transformer to power the BR3, and the BR3 has some programmable jumpers in here. We're setting it to a wet DC output. So wet meaning a voltage output. So we're outputting 24 volts DC on the output of relay one, in this case, breaking the positive wire to the maglock or making the positive wire to an electric strike. And then relay two, we follow that, will trigger the automatic door control. The UL listed maglocks will not work in this configuration because of the power supply right here. If installing on a manual door, disregard relay two connections at the door control. That would be here on the BR3. This would be not used. If installing on an automatic door, ensure compliance with codes and standards. Troubleshooting. Problem, solution. Problem, no LED on maglock. Check for power at the maglock plus and minus terminals. Or request to exit switch wired wrong, meaning normally open instead of normally closed. Problem number two. The red LED is on but won't switch to green when the armature is presented and bonded. Solution. Check to see that polarity is correct. You could have the polarity reversed and the LED will still function but no bonding. Or a possible bad bond sensor. Maglock may work fine but the bond sensor may not. Troubleshooting continued. Problem. Solution. First problem here, the red LED is on and the lock won't bond when the armature is presented. If using a UL mag lock, you must use a UL listed and regulated supply such as EEA part number 10PS1224. If the power supply is correct, check for proper alignment of the armature. The armature should be able to be rocked slightly to allow for proper alignment. Accessories, 10 LZBR gate 1200. This can be installed in many different configurations. You can use just one or both. You can make a Z shape, a U shape for several different applications. Uh, one in particular, if you had a mag lock on the pole side of a door, you could use these two brackets for that. This one here. 10 U bracket UL. This would be for a glass, all glass door. This is like a shoe we call that slips over the top of the glass and then allows a mag lock to uh, fasten it here. 10 LDR mag one. This is another bracket to facilitate uh, different types of reveal depending on the stop or door stop. Uh, may not allow a mag lock to uh, properly be anchored. We have several different filler plates here, miscellaneous filler plates from a quarter inch to one and a quarter to five eighths to one and a quarter. So a quarter inch thick up to five eighths thick for the 600 and 1200 pound mag locks. 
Any questions, call B, contact BEA Technical Support. Contact information is listed below. For technical support, 800-523-2462. Same number for sales and customer service. If anyone would like to send a general technical questions to BEA Technical Service via email, you can do that at tech underscore services at beainc.com. For more information, visit our website at beasensors.com.